guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you my kitchen cooking essentials. I get asked in so many videos of mine, like what pans I use, what pots I use, what knives I use. So I thought I would group everything together and just show you what I love. Some of the things I have here were an investment and I honestly do think investing in your kitchen and cookware is definitely something worth doing because it just lasts so very long. And other things I have, weren't an investment, but I want to make an investment in future. So everything I show, I'll link down below. And then the things that I'm going to tell you about that I want to invest in, I will link those down below as well, because I know initially you might be like, oh, so much money, but they're just so much better than, you know, if you buy things cheaply, you buy twice. Anyway, let's get straight on into it. I would say one of the things, well, one of the things I use in every single meal Oh, my knife set. So this is a Robert Welsh knife set. You have a bread knife and then you have three other knives ranging from kind of big to little. And then it also comes in this really nice block along with some really good scissors. I absolutely love these, use these every single day. Um, yeah, definitely worth buying. And what I would definitely get with that is a knife sharpener too. If you have sharp knives, it just makes your cooking so much easier. Cutting an onion, cutting some garlic, cutting your herbs, all those different things that you just sort of take for granted when you've got a sharp knife. When you've got a blunt knife, it just makes life so much harder. So yeah, I would definitely say invest in a good set of knives and a really good knife sharpener too. Next up, I'm going to show you my garlic press. This is a Joseph Joseph garlic press and it's absolutely brilliant. It was about 15 pounds and I had so many other garlic presses before, but they would just all kind of after a while snap and break. Um, I love garlic in all of my meals as you guys, <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of. So this one, it comes in two different sections like that so when you have the garlic cloves in your press you link them together press your garlic out and then you can unlink them again use this top of the green part to scrape the garlic off the front and then you also use the green part to like scrape the residue bit of the garlic out of there. So it's a really, really great one. It's so easy to clean as well because it comes apart like this. And yeah, just love it. Next up, I wanted to show you my peeler. This is by OXO and it's absolutely brilliant. Really nice and sharp. I've had this one for absolute years. I know you can get different peelers to peel lots of different um, things like carrots and parsnips and um, swede and all those different things. But I just use this one peeler for absolutely everything and it works a treat. Next up is my potato masher. So obviously no one likes lumpy mash. And this one I feel like just really gets every single lump out. It kind of like tubes your mash because I don't know if you can see, but they're round little holes. So when you mash into something, little tubes come out of potato. And the thing that I love most about this is the fact that it packs away flat like that. And when you want to use it, you just move the handle up and then this little bar here goes down and secures everything so you can mash away. But instead of having to store it in your cupboards like this, you just slide that back up, push that down, and it just stores flat. So yeah, really, really great way because I mean, whose kitchen cupboards can house something like that? <laughs> My next kitchen gadget that I honestly couldn't live without is this Tupperware onion dicer. So no one likes cutting onions. Everyone cries. Well, I mean, I do anyway. Um, and this onion dicer, it was 35 pounds. So it was actually quite an investment, but it's by Tupperware and it's got a lifetime guarantee. But I have actually found one for 8.99 or eight to 10 pounds on Amazon that um, other people have recommended. I have got this one. It comes with a little like blade guard. And then when you take that off, um, the blades are super, super sharp. So you pop your blade into your pot, you dice your onion up kind of into quarters, pop it in there, clip the lid in, and then it has a little like pull lever here. So you pull that. That makes the blade spin round and it dices up your onion 
so well. It's absolutely amazing. Once you have it, you will not chop an onion any other way. Right, so now we're going to talk about bowls and storage. So this is a little nest of bowls by Joseph Joseph. It's absolutely brilliant because if you've got minimal storage in your kitchen, then this is definitely something for you. It comes with nine different items. So you've got a big mixing bowl here. You have got a big colander, got a sieve, and then all of these are measuring bowls. So this is a bigger one and it's all in mill. And then you've got one cup, half a cup, all the way down to a teaspoon and a tablespoon. And they just clip out of one another like that. And then, like I said, if you've got minimal storage in your kitchen, this is definitely a product that would suit you because they just pack away really, really neatly and you put them into your cupboard and all they take up is one bowl size of space in your cupboard. I've probably had these for about four years now um, and they're still going really, really strong. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to cookware. So, so many people ask me what pans I use. So I am going to show you. These actually, when they arrived, said that they weren't non-stick, but they are. They are the most fabulous pans I've ever had. They are made by Masterclass, just from Amazon, and they're really inexpensive. I think the biggest one is about 15 pounds. So I have got three different sizes here. So I've got a really small one if I just want to do like one fried egg or something like that. I've got a medium size. And then I have got a large pan as well. They wash really easily. Literally nothing sticks to them, but you cannot put them in the dishwasher, which actually isn't a problem because they um, wash so easily. I can literally just run them under the tap, give it a little swirl around with my um, little scrubbing brush and everything that's in there just comes off so easily. So I've never put them in the dishwasher and I thought that would annoy me, but it really, really doesn't. Next up, I'm going to talk about my pans. So these pans, I've actually had these for such a long time. Yeah, I actually think these pans are from Ikea, but like I said, I will find out for sure and I will link them down below. That's how long I've had them for, I don't even remember, but I have again got three different sizes, a smaller one, a medium size, and then a bigger one as well. And they all come with their own lids like that. They're induction ready as well, so um, they worked really well on my previous hob and they also work really well on my new gas hob as well. Next up for cookware, we have got my Le Creuset pot. This is an investment, but it's such a great heavy based cast iron pot. I use this all the time when I make soups, when I make casseroles, because you can um, cook with it on the hob and you can also then put it into the oven and it's completely safe. The lid goes in the oven as well because I have got one of them with a sort of cast iron handle as well. This pot, like I said, was an investment. I think it was about 150 pounds. It's a really deep bowl. It holds so much in here. Another great thing about this is you can make it as a slow cooker as well. And you can put food in here. And then once you've finished cooking it, it retains its heat for such a long time afterwards. You can get ones that are really, really great from any kind of of your local supermarkets. They're arranged for about 20 to 30 pounds and they are really great. But like I said this I've had for so many years and even though it's an investment I feel like it's a good investment. Next in my kitchen I would definitely say that you need a wok. I use this when I make stir fries, when I make curries. I use this actually quite often. This was from Sainsbury's I think it was about 18 pounds and I'm sure it's a 30 centimeter wok. I wanted to get the biggest one possible because we entertain quite a lot and I didn't want to get a smaller one and then when I entertained I kind of didn't have enough of capacity to make enough food for everybody and have to use multiple pans. So that's why I got this one and it just is really great because when you are cooking, it means that in your pan, you've got lots of space to kind of shake your food around like that um, and a bigger surface area to cook everything on. Something I honestly couldn't live without in my kitchen is my slow cooker. I've just been trying to have a look and see who this one's made by, but it doesn't actually say. So maybe I got this from a supermarket. I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'm gonna link below the one that I recommend all the time. This is a 6.5 liter slow cooker, and I think that's quite important to point out because they do different sizes, and lots of people order the three liter one, and it's so much smaller, and it just means that it doesn't hold the capacity. So if you're a family of four, you'll definitely need the bigger size like we have here. The slow cooker is such a good thing to have in your kitchen because if you are running out to work, 
work or if your kids have clubs straight from school and you want dinner to just be ready when they've finished school, then um, I pop everything in here in the morning and by the time the kids have finished their school and come home, dinner is just ready to just scoop out of here and serve onto their plate. If you also need some slow cooker meals, then I have got loads on my channel for you guys to watch too. Next up, I have got a hand blender. This is a John Lewis hand blender. I think we got it as a wedding present so nine and a half years ago and it's still working like a dream it's a really really great one if you're making soups and then you want to blitz it up afterwards i use it for smoothies for loads and loads of different things like that so it actually comes with quite a few different adapters and you just clip it on here plug it in and then turn it on and it purees your soup up like a dream. Right, next it's the Nutribullet. I don't know if we could actually live without our Nutribullet. The kids love having smoothies. So when you buy the Nutribullet, it comes with two different um, rotators, rotating blades, yeah. You get a four one and you get a two one. Um, and then you also get quite a few different plastic flask things. Um, and what you do is you pop all your ingredients in here, you put the lid on like that, tip it upside down, and it blitzes it up in seconds. I think they're about 70 pounds now. I bought this again years and years and years ago when they first came out and they were about 100 pounds, but now I think there's so many different brands that are competing against each other that um, you can pick one of these up for a, quite a bit cheaper than that now. If you're a smoothie lover, then this is a product and gadget that you need in your home. So this is probably one of the items that I get asked about the most. It is my food processor. And the reason I've actually waited until the end of the video to show you this is because um, I love it. It was from Aldi, it was 40 pounds. However, this is what I want to invest in because um, for 40 pounds, it's absolutely brilliant but I love making my own nut butters and things like that. And this motor just can't handle that. You can smell it starting to burn out when you have it on for too long. So I mainly just use this compartment that it comes with, but it does come with a kind of, um, almost like a smoothie maker as well. Um, and then the main adapters that I use in here are my cake mixing ones and this little rotary blade here, but, in this cool little compartment down here, it does come with quite a few other blades that you can use to kind of like dice up cabbage, dice up carrots, you know, you can do lots and lots of different things for that, but I don't actually ever use those. I just mainly use this, and then if I am dicing up a cabbage, I just use the um, main slicing tool for that. But for 40 pounds, I really, really can't complain about this. However, I would really like to invest in a Magi Mix, but they are very expensive. They're about 500 pounds. So I haven't been able to bring myself to actually buy that yet, but maybe it'll be another birthday present one day soon. <laughs> so my last kitchen gadget that I love and we use all the time is a bit of a fun one and it's this popcorn maker. This is probably the boys' favorite gadget that we have in the kitchen. It was about 12 pounds from um, Amazon, so it definitely doesn't break the bank and it's so much fun. If your kids love popcorn like mine do, then this is definitely something that I would suggest to get. I buy my kernels like that, so I think this was about £1.20 and um, it just comes in your food shop, you can get it from any supermarket. And then what you do is you weigh out this little little like petri dish almost type thing you just put enough kernels to go into there halfway up you don't need any more because you'll be so surprised with how much popcorn this machine makes and then you pop this part on there pull your kernels in put that on to make sure you keep the heat in there pop a bowl under there turn it on the popcorn starts popping up in a matter of seconds and your popcorn is made. So what we like to do is make it and then I can make, if someone wants a salty one, if someone wants a sweet one, um, I can just adapt the different flavors to suit everybody. But yeah, it's a really fun thing. The kids love having this as a treat when we have a movie night. And also you just know exactly what's in there. You know it's just popped kernels and then with whatever topping you decide to put on there. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and it gave you a little bit of an insight as to what I use in my kitchen. Most of these products I use daily, if not weekly, so they are things that I would highly recommend having if you don't have anything like this. And like I said, I will link everything down below so it makes it really easy for you to go and find them. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!